Stay savage, stay savage, your boy Shino Bentro. What's poppin' my hidden trap ninjas? How you guys doing today? Today we're back with another fact video. This time we're talking about the girl Himawari. The reason why she here is more so popular demand. A lot of you guys keep stressing to me that you didn't care how much information was released about her. So I had to do a little bit of digging, I had to do a little bit of searching, and I found out some information about the girl Himawari. Maybe in the future I'll come back and revise this and do a 10 facts video about it. Maybe after like the anime drops and she gets a little bit of development. But as of right now, I'm gonna give you guys these eight that I found and with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get it. Number 8. Himawari and Boruto were the only known descendants of the Hugo clan who did not initially possess the Byakugan. However, according to Kishimoto, he attempted to give them the Byakugan, but he forgot to before releasing Chapter 700. This was later corrected. Number 7. Despite not being a Konoichi, Himawari can use the Tento Fist Taijutsu style with considerable efficiency. This allows her to surgically inject Chakra into an opponent's Tenketsu through her vicious attacks to internally damage her target with minimal contact. Holy shit, so she's barely touching you, yet she's fucking you up? When using this in a unison with her Byakugan, according to Hinata, a single strike from her is precise and strong enough to leave a person unconscious for an entire day, and in the anime was able to knock out Naruto. Bro, this little girl is gonna be strong as fuck, like we understand Boruto, you know, he got some prodigy abilities and shit like that, but looking at this little girl take out Naruto, bro, and she just like lock on, like she's about to fuck somebody up, man. Number 6, this is a little bit off topic, but Japan launched a satellite named Himawari. This could be reference to Himawari having the Byakugan. Now, you know, by having the Byakugan, she has 360 vision. Well, near 360 vision almost. And if you're a satellite, what do you do? You rotate the Earth. So basically, they're rotating at 360. I can see what Kishimoto did there. Number 5. Her hobbies are playing hide and seek with Boruto and visiting her cousin Neji memorial site with her mother and planting flowers. Number 4. Stemming from the Hyuga heritage, on her mother's side, Himawari awakened the Byakugan out of anger after her favorite toy was torn by Boruto. When activated, her normally blue eyes take on this white and large featureless characteristics of the Byakugan. In the anime, she is able to activate her Byakugan in two stages. As its initial stage, it appears as an unactive Byakugan before developing the veins around her eyes and her temples. Number 3. The name Himawari means sunflower. When reversed, the first two kanji spell Hyuga, which can also be read as Hinata, making her name a reference to both her clan and her mother. That's pretty dope. On top of her name meaning sunflower, and she always likes to go plant sunflowers on Neji's grave. That's really cool. On top of like it relates to her mother as well as her clan. Man, Human Warrior is gonna be something. Number two, despite her young age, she has shown a lot of potential. She was even able to scare her brother, who is basically a prodigy, when she's very angered. She was also able to take out Naruto, who is a Kage level, with one blow. Bro, this little girl is dead as gonna be something terrifying, man. I can't wait to discuss this. Number one, Himiwari is a cheerful, considerate, and kind-hearted individual. Shown when she brought sunflowers to her late cousin Neji's grave, hoping he would like them. She also cares about her older brother and vice versa. Himiwari has a very close attachment to her parents as she refers to them as Mama and Papa. When Hinata was injured during Momoshiki and Kenshiki's attack, Himiwari stayed by her mother's bedside as she was healed by Sakura. Y'all think she was worried that Sakura might have fucked up something? Nah, I'm just playing. I'd be worried if my mom got hurt too. Like, who doesn't? Alright guys, I gave you guys the eight facts about Himiwari. Now I'm about to give you guys my personal thoughts, my personal opinions. If you have your own personal thoughts and your own personal opinions, be sure to leave those in the comment section below. If you're watching to this point, make sure you hit that like button. Now with that being said, we're going to discuss this dangerous ass baby. So I just got out of the shower. My hair's a little fucked up. But we're going to talk about Himiwari today. So dead ass... Watching Himawari get ready to take on Boruto and basically slap the shit out of him, I thought that shit right there was probably some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in Naruto. I've never seen a little sibling bully the older sibling because in every case where there are two siblings and one is older, we always see the older sibling being like this extreme fucking prodigy that makes the little sibling look like complete shit. Basically, I'm pointing out Itachi and Sasuke. Now we got Boruto, which has a strong baby sister who awakened the Byakugan way before he did, so even if 
if he does awaken the Biakugan errors, but it's gonna be like, oh, well, you know, Boruto is super strong, man. He knew why he did that shit because he ripped a goddamn teddy bear. She, he, she, he ripped that bitch and she just lost it. She flipped her shit like. Overall, we haven't really got to see her do anything. I do feel like she's gonna play a good role as a as one of the like future Konoichis and shit like that. She's gonna be one of those medical maybe Taijutsu ninjas because at the same time, you know, we get to see her use gentle fists. We don't know if she's gonna take after Sakura and use like healing mag like I said magic healing jutsu and like medical ninjutsu and shit like that. I think she's gonna have her own like line her own path in terms of her maybe trying to get her brother back because i know at one point everybody was hinting that boruto may be going rogue and then like there's some other shit in boruto that i don't want to really add into this video because i know a lot of people aren't caught up with boruto and they don't know about some shit that's in boruto i feel like maybe boruto was gonna do something and she's probably gonna be the reason that he snaps back or maybe they're gonna become this powerful as duo known as the fucking orange hokage son and daughter who takes down every fucking villain that comes through but at the same time she is is mad young considered like compared to boruto and the rest of the new generation kids but she still shows a lot of promise i mean at the time if she grows up into like say boruto age and boruto turning like 16 as naruto age she still could be a little bit useful you know she'll be like a little komono homaru basically running around when needed not necessarily going on missions with them but if something was to play out where the village was attacked she might be able to come through put the tight jutsu on them hit him with the fucking uh you know hit him with the fucking gentle fish and shit like that she would be really dope like i would love to see him and worry in action i remember me and um my dude afro we did a mod we did a texture mod of that and everybody wanted to actually see her get a move set i thought her getting a move set would be really cool but the thing is we haven't really got to see any action from her the only action we ever saw was her basically taking on boruto knocking his ass out in the hallway and then get ready to hit him with the gentle palm and the gentle fist and then motherfucking naruto takes the blow she knocks naruto out so maybe if she develops and we get to see her character develops a little bit more we'll get to see more from her and we'll get to see her play as a role in the story i don't want him to have two kids and one kid just be that main ass character then the other character is just kind of the other child is just like a side character because i want both of them to kind of share the limelight. like i understand the show is going to be called like boruto if they ever have one you know but i feel like she should still play a decent role in it or at least give some type of influence to the boy boruto that way he doesn't completely forget where he comes from and that way people can like have their own opinions about both characters and both children of naruto and hinata because like what's the point of having two kids if like one kid is only gonna get the limelight and then the other one's just gonna be that kid in the background and on top of her being so strong sir early on i feel like she's gonna do some like powerful ass shit because like this girl is hella young she didn't even know what she was doing she just fucking Byakugan in this bitch. She got two stages. She has like so her Byakugan comes on basically you can see the chakra Then she fucking stresses her fucking temples and gets like hella veins And then like she targets you and she's gonna fuck you up the fact that she could do that at such a young age That's what really like scares me like most people probably gonna be saying, you know, uh, she probably got lucky, you know Certain kick kicking guys are activated through emotion because you know you get shine guy through emotion tragedy shit like that But the fact that she was able to get that shit just out of this man ripping a teddy bear bro Like that shit is scary. Let me know what you guys think about him and worry Make sure you hit that like button subscribe for daily content if you have any anime rec Recommendations leave those in the comment section below uh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving I don't know what I'm gonna do for Thanksgiving I don't know if I'm gonna have a fact video or not, but I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving I know I got a, a video coming up for like the viewers and ho as a whole Old, not really necessarily me so with that being said my name is Shino Ben Trill stay true and stay real I hope you guys have a blessed day my hair is fucked and until next time boys what's up guys hope you guys enjoyed today's fact video now today I'm gonna show you how to get to my anime playlist the reason why I'm gonna show you guys how to get to it a lot of people have been putting characters in the comment section that I've already done and a lot of people keep asking me on multiple fact videos to do characters I've already done which I've already done them and I now I gotta show you guys so basically what you want to do is you want to go to the home page of Shino Ben Trail yeah I'm right there so you go ahead and click me then you, after you click me, you can either like click playlist, hit which is here, or you can like scroll down. If you scroll down, you'll see anime facts you should know. So this is a playlist for every anime fact video I've ever created. So if you guys would like to like click that, basically what you do is you go to it, and then you know you can just scroll through it, and you can like see like every fact video I've ever done. You got like Godzilla, you got Naruto, you got Nami, you got Loxes, Erza, you know Lucy, Yamato, you got Great Four Buster, you got Kiba, Sakura, you got Haku, you have 
have majority Naruto, but there's a lot of other characters that I'll be adding to this playlist. So if you ever see an anime fact video, then like you want to go back and watch it, chances are it's in this playlist. So you guys go ahead and check out this playlist and see whatever fact video you, you want. So I'm going to leave this rolling so you guys can basically find the fact video of the character that you want me to do that I probably already did. And if you don't see your character in this playlist, leave your character recommendation in the comment section below. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave this running and I'm going to get out of here. Bye Z.